What's up guys, it's Sophie. For today's video, I am doing a story time. As you can tell by the title, today's story time is about like literally the worst movie theater ever. So I went to this movie theater with my friend Grace, who's in this video with me, and she's gonna be telling the story with me. Hi guys. So basically we went to like this terrible movie theater and we're gonna like tell you guys about it and stuff like that. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, then make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, that's basically it. If you like story time videos, then make sure to let me know because my last story time you guys really liked it so we're doing another one today so yeah let's let's get started we went to this movie theater in New York City it's called the Regal Union Square Stadium 14 okay we're really exposing here it says it's a 3.9 stars it's not it's not negative 3.9 honey and negative. negative so basically it started out we were going to see the movie the shallows and so we got to the movie theater like we weren't even that late. The movie hadn't even like started. Yeah, we were like 10 minutes late because yeah. we were in traffic. But the commercials are yeah, like so in the movie we theater. we would have gotten out there on time. Yeah, so we like run into the movie theater and we do like the giving yourself tickets because we didn't want to wait yeah, in Yeah, like line. the kiosk. So we go to like the kiosk and we check out our tickets, but we check the kids one because like in every single movie theater, kids is like 12. They think of like if you're 12 and under, you're like a kid. 12 or 13. Yeah, or 13 and under, you're a kid. So we were, we could, like, we're tall, but like, we would have said, like, yeah, we're totally 13. Like, I'm 13. So we get the tickets from the kiosk, and then we run up the escalator. We're like, we are seeing this movie. Yeah, we're time. seeing this movie. So then this woman, she takes our tickets and rips them, because, you know, that's what the ushers do. And then, so Grace starts walking, and then she looks at my ticket, and then she's like, wait, hold on, like, hold on. So she calls Grace back over and I'm like, what's wrong? And like, we're getting sort of like antsy cause like, we're sort of already late for the movie. Um, and then I'm like, what's wrong? And then she's like, you're not a kid. And then I'm like, what are you talking about? It's like 13 and under the kid. And then she's like, no, actually it's three to eight. And I'm like, boy. So we were getting so pissed off and then we were like, okay, can we change them? And then she's just like, yeah, they can just switch it really quickly for you. Like, just go back downstairs, switch it, and then you'll be good. And we were like, okay. After that, we go down the escalator and we go into the line to go get our tickets changed at the little desk because we can't do it at the kiosk. And the line was taking like a really long time. There was one person working at the line part, which is why we didn't even want to go there in the first place. So once we finally get up to the person and we're just like, we got kids tickets, but we need adult tickets. And then she's just like, okay, let me call my manager and I'll get that sorted out. So we're like, okay. So she has us wait on the side for her manager to come. And literally, how long were we waiting there? I feel like 20 minutes of my life. Yeah. Bye. It was like literally 20 minutes. And then like Grace asked, she's just like, so where's the manager? Like, where? Like, where we don't see her coming anywhere. And then I see this woman taking her sweet time on the escalator. Coming standing down. Standing there. And then she strolls to the back of the desk. And she just looks over the sh her the little associate's shoulder and she's just waiting there and that was the manager who was coming and then like she was just standing there and we were like oh is this the manager and then she's like yeah once it was like our turn to go back because the manager was there um she started to like change our tickets and stuff but she was doing it the lady that was doing it okay let's call this lady serena like because we saw their name tags but we're not going to say their real names yeah. so let's call the lady that told us that her manager was coming, Serena. So Serena was doing it for us, and the manager was just standing there looking over her shoulder. So why- She was just sitting there like- Yeah, just looking over her shoulder. So if you're gonna be doing all the work, Serena, why do you need to call your manager in the first place? I don't understand. Her manager was just like standing, like, God, okay. So we were just like, all right. So we waited 20 minutes for her manager for nothing if Serena was gonna do all the work herself, so. And she was like, I, I need to call my manager. You did this at the kiosk, I, I can't do this. I can't do it. Like, she asked I need her to call maybe my two questions and she just said like, press that button. Like, press this. Are you kidding me? So we How'd you get hired? <laughs> so we waited there for like 20 minutes for nothing. So she finally changes Grace's ticket. She changes it from an adult ticket, from a child ticket to an adult ticket. And then she's doing mine. And mine takes like an extra 10 minutes to do. I don't understand why mine is taking such a hard time. You literally just did it to Grace's ticket. Like, what's going on? How, like, I don't even know how long we were waiting there. Since, I think like, we it were was, sent back we down. were 45 minutes late to the movie. But we were originally 10 minutes late because of traffic. 
Yeah. So we ended I, up the whole time I was in the front of the line, I was like, I'm gonna ask for a refund. Yeah, I don't want to be was here. So ridiculous. We were originally like 10 minutes late, and then like after everything that happened, like it's not even done yet. So once we both get our adult tickets, that took like about 35 minutes. Yeah, 30 to 35 minutes in its entirety, just like getting the adult tickets switched. So we get our adult tickets, but obviously like knowing me guys you know me I love my food like I cannot watch a movie without food so we were going and we were getting some food so we go up um and then the lady finally lets us go past and then like we're running at this point so we run um to like the food area and then this was the part that just like got me dead okay explain please explain okay. so there are like eight cash registers where eight. you can go up to buy your food eight cash I registers. counted them I'm not just making up a number literally eight and then there's this one guy with a snapback sitting behind one cash register and there's this girl standing behind him doing nothing literally doing nothing there, there's this long line so we asked the lady doing nothing who obviously works there because because she's standing right next to him like oh can can we um, order like, can our I food get with a you? pizza and she's like no you can't order with me then what are you doing? Like, why are you here? And then, um, I got two pizzas. Cause guys, They're, guys, don't, okay, don't, don't, don't even her. judge They're me. Like and then, out of nowhere, the manager that was helping us from downstairs comes up and then starts help. Let, okay, let's call the manager Shelly. Let, let's call her Shelly. So Shelly comes behind the counter and then she starts helping the guy cashier do his work. Like, can nobody here do their work? Like, why you keep needing Shelly to help you? Our pizza, well, my, my two pizzas are being made. And then, like, we both got drinks and then Shelly is pouring the drink. Like, she's the manager doing the cashier's work. Like, I don't understand how that works, but I mean. So, we're already, like, at this point, like, 50 minutes late for the movie. And we were seeing The Shallows. If you guys don't know what, what that's about, it's, like, the movie about the shark. <laughs> yeah, the shark, the shark with Blake Lively. Yeah. She's, like, a surfer. And then, and then she gets, like, bitten by a shark and everything. So, um, by the time that we went in to the actual theater, like, she had already been bitten. It was, like, past the midway point of the movie. Like, we were so late. If everybody that was working there would have just, like, gotten their stuff together and just, like, did their job, we would have not been late for the movie at all. Because, like, the commercials take about, like, 20 to 25 minutes. Like, because they expect people to be late. So the movie started at 1.30. We were in there by, like, 2.15. I think mm -hmm. because but we got there at 140 I don't know like I I do know like the the mistake with the kids tickets that was like our fault even though like in every yeah. single other movie theater it's 13 or under this is the first movie theater that I've ever been to where like it's 11 yeah or 8 or yeah whatever. it was 3 to 8 or like chuck that's like infant to 8 so we finally get our stuff and then we like run in they like keep stopping us from like going in because they keep like asking us to buy more stuff like so I didn't want my receipt because the receipt was taking like a really long time to print so I was like you know what I'm not gonna get my receipt but then Shelly's just like no nah, just print out the receipt print out the receipt Shelly I don't want my receipt so yeah that was basically our story that was what happened it don't go to that movie theater. We really put them on the spot though, but please yeah. don't go. If you're in New York City, don't go to that movie theater. Take it from me. They don't know how to do their jobs. Like, and like we miss so much of it. Like we miss so much. And we were telling we were telling them too, like, we're late for a movie, just like can we please just get our tickets? The ticket part was just like pissing me off. It was and it's we like, have did that was that really necessary? Yeah, we have the video clip. I'll put it in there right now. Okay, so this video clip is of um, Shelly literally just standing over Serena's shoulder. Like, what I don't understand is why did you need to call your manager if your manager didn't even end up doing anything? That just like pissed me off. But like, I'm both of us were not the type of people to like start a scene or like act like loud and obnoxious in like public places. Like, we don't do that. So you're just like keeping quiet and like I snuck in a video it's on my phone and I'll put it in here right now of the manager literally doing nothing so here you go so we're just in this movie theater and do you notice the manager just isn't doing anything like why did you need to call her why did you need to call her like nothing nothing I don't know they were just not helping at all for two people that were like so late they were not 
trying to get us into the movie theater and it's a movie theater but they weren't even trying to help us get to the movie mm -hmm. so that was just like pissing me off but you know what I kept quiet it was okay so that's it for my video guys that's it for this story time if you found it funny or you liked it make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below like any um, bad experiences that you've had at movie theaters like any public place just like we can relate to each other like we had a sucky experience at that movie theater <laughs> the movie was actually really good though like the ending of it I'm not gonna spoil it for you but if you want to go see the shells definitely go see it that's like one of my new favorite movies now so yeah that was great um, so if you enjoyed it, thank you for watching. I love you and I will see you all this Tuesday with another new video. Bye! Oh my god! This had me dead. Oh my goodness, the memes for this had me dead. Trust me, I'm not a fan of her or Donald Trump, but she did have somebody helping her with that speech, but like she was a part.